Oh, hey there, Nerd Fantastic. It's been a while since I've seen you last. But the heartthrob is back. Not to worry. <laughs> Trying out a new hairdo today. A comb over. Gotta love it. So I guess, you know, I'm I'm flattered. I'm flattered that um you all have deemed me, I guess, the new heartthrob of Nerd Fitastic. Again, flattered. But that's about all I can be. Sorry, ladies. I'm taken. This beard goes out to someone else. That sounded weird. I've decided to create a new segment rather than, you know, really grinds my gears because grinding my gears is too stressful for me right now. Anyway, my new segment is called You're Welcome, Ladies. And in this segment of You're Welcome, Ladies, I will be taking my shirt off. But don't worry, it's not as inappropriate as you think, so you're allowed to watch. Now on to the important stuff. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I saw the midnight premiere, and I thought, at first glance, it was definitely amazing. I would say my favorite and least favorite parts came not from the movie, but from the reactions during the midnight premiere. My favorite reaction in the movie was when Lady Dumbledore, because I can't remember her name anyway her portrait went to go get someone in the castle and it was just really tense for like a minute even though we pretty much knew what was coming and then neville came out and i swear half the audience just like squealed and clapped with joy and i was not ready for it so i kind of was startled and just jumped out of my seat because i was not expecting people around me to just go <gasps> yay i was just like oh god that was awesome but you scared me. Anyway, that was my favorite part of the movie, to be honest. Least favorite part of the movie um, actually has to do with something that you mentioned, Scott. Scott, while I agree with you that the end of the book was an extremely emotional time for me and uh, pretty much every reader that read the book, I thought that the movie symbolism kind of covered a lot of what the book had to offer, especially that scene with the elder wand at the end where he snapped it in half and threw it off the bridge i found that more as a symbol for he had absolute power and um he was giving it away and i mean that's not exactly what happened in the book i'll give you that but um i still felt that emotional connection like he was he died and was reborn again in order to vanquish evil and um, gave up his absolute power in order to rid the world of uh, any sort of tyrannical source of power or things like that. Um, but what I didn't like about it was that there were many people in the audience that were shouting at the screen, you're supposed to fix your wand, you twit. And I'm like, all right, while that might have been what happened in the book, you know, I, I still felt like the movie was doing that part justice. I don't think going to fix his wand was necessarily the most important thing. I think the most important thing was the fact that he gave up all his power. And there you have it. That's what Those were my least and most favorite parts of The Deathly Hallows. Now as promised, ladies. This is the part where I take my shirt off. Ready for this? You're welcome, ladies. Dave, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to be awesome.